Thank you for joining us for tonight's Folks Being a Live presentation. In addition to tonight's broadcast, all of our episodes are archived at nytf.org. Please help us spread the word about our series by sharing with your social networks. Also, if you're able, please do consider a donation to the National Yiddish Theatre Volksbina. Your support, no matter how small or large, enables us to continue our mission of producing and presenting and preserving Yiddish culture. Ashenim Dank. Thank you. Shalom Aleichem, liebe Freund, ich heiße Mottl Dittner und das ist 15 Minuten Jiddisch, mehr weniger, von der Nationaler Jiddisch Theater Volksbühne. Jede Woche bringen wir euch eine Mini-Lektion in Jiddisch Sprach und Kultur. Back to 15 Minute Yiddish. If you missed any of our previous episodes, Feigenisht, don't worry, you can view them at nytf.org. In our last episode, we learned about the fine art of the Yiddish Kvetch. Let's review. Do any of our students want to have a little schmooze? Uh, Hinde and Scott. Start out by greeting one another, then introduce yourselves, and ask how the other is doing. If the answer isn't good, let's find out what's wrong. Sholem Aleichem. Aleichem Sholem. Ich heis Scott. Wie heis du? Ich heis Hinde. Was machst du, Scott? Sehr gut. <laughs> Kino hore. Tu, tu, tu. Oh. Wie fielst du? Oi, so sein euch meine Sonnen gesucht. Oi, nebech, was ist der Meer? Der Kopf tut mir weh, der Rücken tut mir weh, die Fies tun mir weh. Sehr, sehr gut. Scott, I'd like to give you a special shout out. Your pronunciation is really improving. A herzlichen Dank. Nicht auf was. Today we're going to talk about die Mischboche, the family. But first, a little bit of vocabulary. Un means and. An apple, un, a buch. Mit means with. An apple, mit, a blettle. An apple with a leaf. On means without. An apple, on, a blettle. Oder means both either and or. Oder sei bagrist. Oder Borechaba. We learned this in our last episode. Both mean welcome. The similar sounding Ober means but. Richtig or Gerecht both mean correct. Nicht richtig or nicht gerecht means incorrect. Alle means everyone. Zusammen means together. Alle zusammen, all together. Oh, you know what that sound means. It's time for our very first irregular verb in Yiddish. Sein, to be. This is also an irregular verb in English and in many other languages. It does not follow any regular pattern of conjugation, so the best way to learn it is through repetition and memorization. Let's take a look. Ich bin. Du bist. Er, sie, es, is. Mir seinen. Ihr seid. Se seinen. Let's try it all zusammen. Ich Bin. bin. Du bist. bist. Er, sie, es, is. is. Mir sein. sein. Ihr seid. seid. Se sein. Sein. Sehr gut. But because it's so tricky, 
Let's try it alle zusammen noch einmal. One more time. Ich bin. Du bist. Er, sie, es, is. is. Mir seien. Ihr seid. Sei seien. Ausgezeichnet. Excellent. So who is in die Jiddisch Mischpache? The family. In Yiddish, the words for the husband and the wife are synonymous with man and woman. Der Mann is a husband. Die Frau or die Weib is a wife. Der Chosen is a groom. Die Kale is a bride. And these terms apply from the time that they're engaged through their first anniversary. So they also mean fiancé and newlywed. Die Tate Mame or die Älteren both mean parents. Die Mutter or die Mame means mother. Der Vater or der Tate means father. Mutter and Vater are very formal and are very rarely used. You more typically hear Mame and Tate. The child is das Kind. More than one child, die Kinder. The baby is das Efele. More than one baby, die Efelach. A daughter is die Tochter. Plural, die Techter. The son is der Sohn. Plural, die Sinn. One brother is der Bruder. More than one, die Brüder. Now sisters gets interesting. One sister is die Schwester, plural, die Schwester. You just need to know by context. Der Seide is a grandfather. Die Bobe is a grandmother. Das Enekel is a grandchild. More than one grandchild, die Eneklech. Let's take a look at some more distant family members. Die Mumme or die Tante is aunt. Der Vetter is uncle. Das Schwesterkind is a cousin. It literally means sister child, but it's used for cousins of any gender. Die Plimenitze is a niece. Der Plimenik is a nephew. Let's talk about the in-laws. Die Schwiger is the mother-in-law. Der Schwer is a father-in-law. Die Schnur is a daughter-in-law. Der Edem is a son-in-law. Der Schwager is a brother-in-law. Die Schwägerin is a sister-in-law. Now in Yiddish we have terms for relations that don't have a name in English. The parents of the person who your child is married to are referred to as the Mechetonim in the plural. The father is der Mechutten, and the mother is the Mecheteniste. This is a classic Yiddish Rosh Hashanah greeting card with a picture of a family. We can't be exactly certain everybody's relationship to everybody else, but we'll make our best guess, and where we don't know, we'll make it up. Wer is er? Er is der Tate. Mistome, ober far die Kinder, er is der? Er is der Seide. Richtig. Far ihm, sie is die? Die Freu. Gut. Und die seinen? Die sind. Sehr gut, Oren. Um, Murray, wer is sie? Ich weiß nicht. Hinde? Sie is der Edem. Uh, nicht richtig. Der Edem is a son-in-law. Sie is a... Oh, Schnur, like as in a, a, a Schnurrer, is that the same word? Uh, not quite. It's another homophone. The verb to schnorr is something between a beggar and a con artist. In this case, a schnorr is a daughter-in-law. Sie is die schnorr. Und wer is der Mann? The one on the left. Good. 
So the one on the right is der Schwager. Und vor ihm, sie ist die die Schwägerin. Gut. Und sie ist die Schwieger. Und er ist der der Schwer. Sehr gut. Zu die Mädler, der Mann und die Frau seinen die Tate Mame. Gut, Oren. Und der Mann und die Frau seinen die Bobe Seide. Sehr, sehr gut. Zu äh, Tate und Mame die Kinder seinen Töchter. Gut. Und zu Bobbe und Seide, die Kinder seinen Die Einklach. Gerecht. Zu die Kinder, der Mann ist der Vetter. Und zu ihm, sie seinen Die Plimenitzes. Gerecht. Die zwei seinen Die Sinn. Ja, aber to each other. Oh. Their brothers. Ja, aber auf Jiddisch. Oh yeah, they seinen Brüder. Gerecht. Und to each other. Die zwei seinen. Alle zusammen. Schwester. Ausgezeichnet. Excellent. Did you guys even notice that I was speaking almost entirely in Yiddish and you kept up with everything? Let's start digging in to all the things that we've learned and have a schmooze. Uh, Oren, wie heißt der Tate? Der Tate heißen Gilbert. Remember to review your conjugation. The third person singular is haste. Der Tate heißt... Yeah, that's what I said. Der Tate heißt Gilbert. Good. Professor, wie heißt die Mame? Die Mame heißt... Professor Louise Shoshana Coopersmith Thompson. Hinde, wie heißen Bobby Zede? My grandparents? Oh, they've been gone a long time. How do I say they were called? Let's save the past tense for another episode. We're not quite ready for that yet. For now, let's just use the present tense. Okay. On my mama's side, the Bobbe Zede hasten Surke und Chaim. On my Tate's side, Bobbe Zede hasten Malke und Schmuel. Sehr gut. Wayne, wie heißt der Bruder? How did you know I have a brother? I didn't. I was just guessing. Der Bruder is gut. Kinohore, tu tu tu. Gut. Murray, was machen die Kinder? Oi, frag nicht. Nah, just kidding. The Kinder sind in fine. Good. Sophia, uh, I see that you are wearing a ring. Was macht der Mann? Die Freu, darling. I'm sorry. I made an assumption and I should not have. But this is a good opportunity to learn how to say I'm sorry or excuse me in Yiddish. There are two different ways. We can either say anschuldig mir, singular, informal, anschuldigt mir, which is plural or singular formal. This comes to us from German. Or we can say sei mir meuchel, singular, informal, seit mir meuchel, plural or singular, formal. And this comes to us from Hebrew. Both of them literally mean, forgive me. Zaimir Moichel, Sophia. And what do I say in response? You can respond a few different ways. You can say, Ich bin dir Moichel, I forgive you, in the singular informal, or Ich bin euch Moichel, if it's plural or singular formal. You could say, Gornisht or Gornit, it's nothing. You could say, Mele, forget about it. You could say, No, gut, it's all good. Mele, die Freu is fine, a dank. Euskitzeichend, excellent. Well, that about wraps up our episode. Tune in next week when we talk about Erter.
places. Zeitgesundale. Murray, I bet that you know a joke about Mishboche. Ho ho boy, do I ever. An alte Bobe geht zum Jam mit Neinekel. Plitzling is kimt a grüße Chvalien, is bringt us Kinder Reus out to see. Die Bobe kickt zum Himmel und macht es euch. Was für ein Gott für Rachmann ist bis die zu nehmen an ihm schuldigen Kind, das ah? Es kimt a zweite Chvalien, is bringt us Kind zurück, gleich zum Bobe. Sie kickt euch von Neinekel, und sie kickt zum Himmel, und sie sagt, He had a hat. Huh?